Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to do a shootout and product review of a item that I don't personally use, or items that I don't personally use, but is becoming really popular, and as you can see from the description, it's on waterless car washes. I'm going to be doing a test on three different waterless car washes, Chemical Guys, Adams, and Amsoil. Now, I don't use waterless car wash. Um, the reason that I don't use it, I'm going to basically just tell you up front, is because uh, I don't have a need to do that. I live in the south. Um, there's very rarely ever a time where it's too cold to wash your car. I do acknowledge that there are a lot of people that don't live in areas, especially during the winter, that they, they just can't, because of temperatures, can't wash their car. You may live in an apartment or a condo that you can't do uh, a normal car wash. There's always self-service car washes that you can go to, but again, the temperature can be a factor. So regardless of whether I like the stuff or not, a lot of people use different waterless car washes and a lot of people mess their paint up doing it. So my purpose here is just to kind of give you an information. If you're on the fence about whether you'd like to do it or wouldn't like to do it, I'll let, let you make that decision. As I said before, I don't use waterless car wash. Um, I have used in the past uh, the Amsoil waterless car wash because it was given to me as a sample. It was okay. Um, not great, but you know, it is what it is. So what I want to do is give you an honest product review of these three major waterless car washes. Now there are a lot of other ones out on the market. Okay, you can go to Walmart, you can go to the auto parts store, you know, Meguiar's has some and probably Turtle Wax and a couple other brands, but I'm just going to give you three that I had access to and give you my thoughts, let you see the car that we're going to be working on, and it doesn't matter which car you have. Um, doesn't matter whether it's a diesel or gas powered, you know, a dirty car is a dirty car. Now I will tell you this up front. I have seen more people scratch their paint with waterless, improper use of waterless car wash, not because of the chemical that's used, but because of the way that you take the chemical and the dirt off the car. It's not like washing a car with soap and water. You don't go around in a circle. You have to wipe it off, flip the cloth over, wipe it off again. So it takes quite a few microfiber towels to do an entire car. I would not recommend that you do this on a car that is caked with salt, caked with mud. Uh, this is for cars, like I'm going to show you, that's been driven for several months with no car wash. It just has road grime on it. There's no heavy particles of mud or, you know, road debris that's on the paint. So if you have a vehicle, if you've got a Jeep that's like that, you've been mudding, please don't even attempt to use it. You know, I would just wait to wash it um, because you're going to just damage your paint. Any damage that you do on the paint can always be undone with somebody that's skilled with a buffer. So if you've messed your car up in the past from scratching it, you know, I'm going to show you how to do it properly. If you choose to do it, uh, you're not going to damage your paint if you follow the guidelines that I've given before. So let me show you the three products and kind of give you an overall impression first of all, and then I'll actually demonstrate all three products working on a car. All right, these are the three products I'm going to be testing and reviewing today for you. This first one is Chemical Guys Eco Smart. Uh, this is a very popular waterless car wash. It comes with a very cheesy, cheap plastic uh, sprayer head. In fact, when I was testing this, uh, giving it some test sprays, it actually failed on me. Now, I don't know if I got a bad one. I don't know if this is just indicative of the uh, cheap plastic they use, but it's very flimsy. If you're going to use this, I recommend that you get a more robust sprayer. Now one thing that's really odd is that there is a, well I can only say a, a slight solid that's come out of suspension. So definitely before you use this, we're going to give it a, a really good shake. And um, I don't know if that's normal. I don't know. This, is, like I said, I've never used this before, but 
that's what you get. So don't be alarmed if you see some, some kind of a white powder in there. Uh, now, next is Adams Waterless Car Wash. Adams has a higher grade spray head that comes with the waterless car wash, but um, I would still say that this is a uh, pretty cheap spray head. Um, Adams doesn't have anything that comes out of suspension. All right, it's a blue liquid. It's got a slight, I don't know, berry scent to it. Uh, but I didn't have any failure at all on the spray head. And then next is the Amsoil. Now this is unique because this is in an aerosol can. Now I had used the Amsoil a long time ago. Somebody had given me a sample and it was in a liquefied, non-pressurized spray bottle that you um, had a plunger and you actually pumped it up. But this is a true aerosol. And it's been probably, I'm going to say 10 years since I've actually even tested the the Amsoil, and as I said before, it worked okay. Wasn't too awfully impressed. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna give you guys a look at what you need to, to use as far as a cloth to remove this. Do not get your bath towels. Okay, so as I said before, do not use your bath towel. Don't use hand towels. Don't use cotton towels. Use microfiber towels. Now, these just happen to be from Chemical Guys. Uh, there are a lot of places that sell these. I got a good deal on these. Uh, this is not a Chemical Guys commercial, but this is what I've, I've got to use. These are specifically designed to use with their um, EcoSmart, but they're, they're high quality microfiber towels. There's, um, there's 12 of them in here, and if you're gonna do your entire car, you're probably gonna need if you do it correctly, almost a whole pack of these. Um, but like I said, use whatever high quality microfiber towel that you'd like to use, preferably one that has a very small nap to it. Um, I like this size. This is another good 16 and a half by 16 and a half. So um, color doesn't matter. Just as I said, get a good high quality microfiber towel to do this. If you use terry cloth, if you use a bath towel, you will scratch your paint. I'm telling you that now. Um, if you have to, go to Walmart and get some microfiber. If they have true microfiber towels, that is what I would use. That is my recommendation to you. Now let's go out to the car and I'm going to show you a really, really dirty car that we're going to test all three of these and see how they stack up. You may be surprised. Okay, so here is the car that we're going to be working on. Make and model again is not... Uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how dirty this is. Hopefully the camera is picking this up. This car has not been washed in uh, several months. It's been, it's been through a lot of rain. It's a lot of uh, road film on there, but there's no dirt per se, like mud or salt or anything like that on here. So this side I'm going to be using the Chemical Guys. This side I'm going to be using the Atoms, and this side I'm going to be using the Amsoil. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is show you how I fold my towel. Um, there is a really, really short nap side, and then a little bit plusher. This is the side I'm going to be using. And the way that I do this is I like to fold this in half long ways. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So now it's in quarters. And I'm going to fold it one more time. Now I'm going to be using this surface one wipe. Okay? One wipe per surface. People get in trouble. They scratch their paint when they spray it on there and they start doing this. Okay? You're just grinding the dirt into the paint via the microfiber towel. So we're going to give one wipe. One direction. So, first up going to be our chemical guys. I'm going to give this a really good shake. Okay, so it looks like the solids or whatever that is in there. If anybody knows, leave a comment. Okay. So I've got the trigger set to on 
and I'm going to do this side here. Okay, so I'm just going to wet it. I wet the whole area, and I'm just going to take the microfiber towel and give one wipe. Now that's a lot of junk. Now you're tempted to use this again, but there's dirt and grime in here, so I'm gonna I'll just use the next the next clean side. Give another wipe. Okay, there's a lot of scum coming off there. I'm gonna flip it over and one more wipe. Let me see if I can get the camera in just a little bit. Um, it got 90% of the dirt off. This car being older has some of the uh, black streaks coming from the, uh, the trim degrading. But it got it off. I'm pretty impressed. The surface feels, it feels clean. Um, not like it was just washed with water. Um, but there's nothing on there. It's dry to the touch. There's no weird coatings or anything like that on there. All right, so next up, in the center panel, I'm going to use Adams. So Adams, I'm still going to give it a shake like I did before, even though there's nothing suspended in here. Um, it looks like there's an on-off switch that just rotates, just like on the chemical guys. This spray is a little bit different. And now I'm just going to wet the whole area like I did. Now, this one is certainly much better smelling. So I'm going to get a clean portion of my microfiber towel, just like I did before. And I'm going to give it a wipe. Okay, gets a lot of the dirt off. I'm going to flip it over to a clean area, give it another wipe. I'm going to get another clean area for my final third wipe. And general impressions, it looks to be about as clean. It left one little tiny mark here, but I think that's it's hard to even come off with my thumb. The surfaces feel almost identical. I definitely will say the Adams product smells better. Let's see if I can focus this in just a little bit. Now look at the difference. Chemical guy's side, Adams side, and the undone side. Let me move the camera over just slightly. All right, so next is going to be the Amsoil side. And remember, the Amsoil Miracle Wash comes in a pressurized aerosol, so I'm gonna shake it. Take the top off, The uh, has a uh, rather robust cap on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Interesting. It uh, it kind of foams up a little bit. Doesn't have much of a smell to it. Okay, so we're gonna take my microfiber cloth on a clean section, and I give it a wipe. And again, dirt's coming off. Flip it over to a new section, give it another wipe, dirt's coming off again, and for our third wipe, now I know the sun is starting to creep into the panel so it may look a little different but all three panels 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a I'm gonna have to call this a tie on on this door panel right here um, they all feel the same they all got the car the panel clean uh, the panel does look like it was washed so it removed this the this black streaks on here are typically especially on an older car are typically harder to remove um, there is a little bit of uh, something right there that the Amsoil didn't take off but um, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna call this a tie on this panel let me uh, let me get set up on the hood and we'll see what it can do on the hood okay so I've got the hood marked off here this is just the uh, front edge of the hood where there's no sunlight shining on it and uh, again this um, hood is very, very dirty. So I'm going to do the chemical guys on this side. We'll do the atoms here, and we'll do the AMS oil here. All right, using the chemical guys, giving it a shake. It hasn't separated. It's only been a couple minutes, so I'm just going to spray this area. Make sure the whole area is wet. I take my cloth. I got a brand new microfiber towel. And I'm wiping in one direction, one time. Now that got a lot of dirt off. I'm going to flip it over to a new section. And it got more dirt off. Now I can see a little bit on the edge here. That it didn't get. See if I can back the camera out just a little bit. Little bit on the edge that it didn't get. That may be a little bit of staining from the white paint. But as you can see from the undone area, it, it certainly got it clean. All right, so next up. We're going to use this side. This will be the Adams side. Give the product a shake. All right, it's important when you do this to make sure to get the entire area that you're going to be working with wet. All right, I got my clean microfiber cloth. Okay, that's a lot of dirt that came off there. I'm trying to just do this in two passes. Okay. Um it looks like looks like about a tie again. Both of them are having a little bit of trouble. Just a little bit of trouble on the edges. It may be because this picks up a little bit more. Uh, road film, but both both it, both sides are clean. I can definitely say that. All right, and now for the Amsoil Miracle Wash. It's a little windy out here, so I can't help that. I'm going to give a little shake again. And this is harder in the wind to get a, a good coating on here. I'm trying to put an equal amount of product on all three. It's, it's bubbling. It's funny. It's kind of like those bath bubbles. Scrubbing bubbles. And it virtually has no, no smell. There's definitely not any type of a solvent smell for any three of these and really not any type of a soap smell so I'm gonna give this a, a pull and it got a lot of dirt off I'm gonna flip this over to the other side and uh, I'm gonna say it's other than I didn't get any product there I'm gonna say that it's again 
it looks like as it, it showed on the um, door that all three basically look the same. Let me pull the camera off the tripod so I can give you a closer look. So, I have to say that uh, for what these products are and how clean it got the car compared to what it was before, I mean, that's a, that's a huge difference. I hope the camera is picking this up. Now, the question is, would I use these products? And the answer to that is probably not. In fact, I'm getting ready to wash this car. It's about 60 something degrees out here. It is windy, but you know, if you if you don't have access to water, can't you know, you can't have access to water. There's just no place. The temperature, I mean, look at the difference. Okay? I mean, it did it did get the um it did get the hood clean, it got the door clean. But again, if you'll do it exactly as I showed you, you're not going to scratch your paint. But it is going to require that you have quite a number of the um, microfiber towels handy. Don't just think you can do one or two microfiber towels and do this whole car. You will scratch your paint up. So I hope this review was helpful. Um, I am pleasantly surprised, as I said before. I'm not going to be using these products um, unless it's something that's really, 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 you know, I may keep, I may keep this one in the car in case there's some bird droppings or something on there um, and keep a towel in there. But generally, I am going to use good old soap and water, but I'm going to let you make that decision up on your car. If you have any other requests for product reviews, any questions on these products, or maybe you have some experiences of your own you'd like to share, then please do so, and I will see you on the next video.